Hello, Leo. Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. Um, this is for the week of January 15th through the 21st. Can you believe it already? Mid-January. Um, you might want to watch your sun, moon, and rising to gain more insight into what's coming in for you this week. I'm beginning with my Medicine Woman Oracle to get the underlying theme for the week. And then I'm laying down the Crystal Magic Tarot for the daily energy, and I'm closing with the Beltane Oracle. And these are general readings, so please take them as they resonate. Um, if you like the reading, hit that like button. Share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. I have already shuffled and cleared space, but I'm going to shuffle these again. <laughs> We're uh, I'm going to see what's coming in for Leo this week. What do we have for Leo, please, Spirit? I hope everybody's off to a good start of the year. I believe it's already 2023. Spirit, what do we have, please, for Leo? All right. Leo. Self-knowledge. Dive into your depths where your truth resides. Self-knowledge. Dive into your depths where your truth resides. And you'll notice I'm doing things different. Usually you don't see my face, but uh, I'm having to go to the chiropractor quite a bit from looking down all the time, and I'm trying to remedy some of that. Don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to try it. Okay. Uh, six. And where do I find six? There we go. Oh, right there. Self-knowledge. All right. Um, you are a woman or man of knowledge. It is time to shine a light on the true nature of who you are. To start on this journey towards yourself, you will have to dive into the depths of your unconscious. Do so gently. To face your unconscious is the first step towards healing. Shed light on your shadows. Collect your experiences, then seed them through your inner vision. You can consult a therapist or a shaman or carry out a ritual. Once you begin your individual inner revolution, you can change the world. Yeah, it starts with us, right? It starts within us. Heal ourselves first and then the world. Okay, I'm going to move on to the dailies here, but I'm going to turn my camera down so you can see what I am doing here. You can see the cards better if I turn the camera down. So let's see what we have. For Leo, please. For Sunday. Shuffling again. <laughs> What is the energy coming in for Leo this week? Spirit creator. What's coming in for Leo? What's your message for Leo? What energies are coming in? What do they need to watch for? Be aware of. Here we go, Leo. Leo's first card on Sunday. My cloth keeps moving. Sorry, guys. I have to figure something out here. We have the Four of Swords. So Sunday is all about that time of rest, taking time for reflection, uh, for recovering, for healing, for rest, relaxation, perhaps a good time uh, for going in, doing that inward reflection All right, what do we have for Monday? I love these cards. They give you crystals on each card to support the energy. Four of Swords are giving us Amber. All right, and then Monday, the Eight of Coins. The Eight of Coins. 
zoisite. I don't even have any of that. <laughs> but that's what's giving us. Um, so Monday, it's about paying attention to the details. It's about being willing to commit to the work, um, honing your craft, uh, making sure your ducks are all in a row just came to mind. Paying attention to every little detail. And whatever it is that you're doing, trying to accomplish, whether it's a job, a career, um, a, a business of your own, um, a craft that you do, something. Um, pay attention to the details. If you are uh, beginning a business or some kind of self-employment endeavor, pay, um, make sure you have all your ducks in a row. And we have four coming out for Tuesday. We have the hanged man, we have the six of coins, and we have the five of coins. Damn it. And the emperor. Okay. So maybe taking the time here. You had a time of rest Sunday. Now this the the hanged man. It's about gaining a new perspective, perhaps. Uh, looking at things from a different perspective. Taking the time for that. Um, we're not rushing things. Things don't need to move too quickly. We need to take the time to reflect, to gain perspective and understanding, perhaps, in the situation. The Six of Coins, we're keeping things balanced. It's that reciprocal energy, that equal give and take. Take the time to examine the situation, gain perspective. Um, are things reciprocal? Is there balance there? Um, there's a, a five of coins here. Are you perhaps feeling left out in the cold or feeling uh, isolated, like the resources aren't available to you? They are. They are available to you. Take your power back here with the Emperor card. Step into your power, your authority. Create balance. Tap into those resources that are available to you. Recognize them and use them. There might be something that you're not seeing that is available to you. Right. Wednesday. Wednesday, we have the Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck. Feeling stuck. You are not stuck. This is this is an illusion. They give you sunstone. You've got lapis here. Um, <laughs> if you want to support the energies for those days, I um, not necessary. Not everybody's into crystals. I understand that. These are just suggestions given on the cards. Um, the, the, the Eight of uh, Swords on Wednesday. This one I like because she's not blindfolded. She's not tied up in any way. There are swords around here, yes. But she's perfectly capable of standing up and removing herself from the situation. So whatever it is that you're not liking that's keeping you stuck, you are capable of removing yourself from that stuck energy. Um, pay attention to that. <laughs> Jumping out at us for Thursday is the Two of Wands. Celestite is the crystal for the day. Um, gaining a higher perspective, uh, Celestite will help you connect with um, that higher vibrational energy. Uh, this is about deciding from the heart listening to that inner heart guidance, making your choices according to your desires, your passions. So when you're making a choice, follow your heart, follow your passions, despite any other influence that might come in. Listen to your heart guidance. Um, that should take precedence over any other 
All right. And Friday. Friday is the Six of Wands, Blue Topaz. Yes, moving forward into the victory, gaining recognition. Recognition. Praise, perhaps. This could be in the workplace. This could be with your gifts, talents, something that you do as a hobby even. You're gaining recognition. Somebody is recognizing what you have to offer here. Um, you're being praised for your gifts. Rewarded for your gifts, your talents, your abilities, whatever it is that um, you're good at. And we all have our different gifts and talents. Uh, talents, sorry. But you are here being recognized on Friday. Saturday. Is the Ten of Swords an ending? Something coming to an end. Hmm. Something coming to an end. Uh, at the end of the week. <laughs> Maybe the week is coming to it now. Um, not sure. Something coming to an end. You've gained recognition. You followed your heart. But there's an ending to something here. There is an ending. I'm gonna I'm gonna take one more card on that just to see what it gives us. What is this ending ushering in for you? The six of cups. Harmony and balance. So maybe it's an end to this feeling stuck, this slow energy, um, because I see, I see a lot of slow movement here or stuck energy here. We had the hanged man, we had the eight of swords, we have the four of swords, this is all about non-movement, non-movement. And especially the Eight of Swords, it's that stuck energy. But as you listen to your heart's guidance, you gain recognition. And you're putting an end to this stuck energy. You're putting an end uh, to this phase of non-movement. You're creating harmony and balance so that things can flow naturally. See what we have in closing from the Beltane Oracle, please, Spirit. Okay. Here's what we have. Oak. Don't just look within. Dive deeply into the eternal realms of knowing. Wow. This was diving into your depths within. And then this one says, don't just look within. Dive deeply into the eternal realms of knowing. Seek that guidance, that wisdom, that knowledge. Not only from within. Do the inner, yes, the inner dive. But also seek connection with spirit and guidance from spirit. <laughs> and... Uh, our rune is Laguz, meaning lake, flow, or current. This is It's all about going with the flow, being flexible. It's, remember how I said you're creating that balance and harmony, that flow. This is what's happening for you. Allow that flow. Go with the flow. You are not stuck. This is what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a blessed week.